All right, uh, Shalom, first and foremost, uh, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who were well in peace, love, and salutations to all you Akim out there that's pushing this truth and true sincerity. Now, High Priest Yaakov said, if a nigga can't get it, we're moving on. And when you watch this video from the, the uh, Light of Zion, titled um, The Prophets versus the League of uh, Homosexuals. All right, for this lesson, I'm going to say sodomites because, you know, Esau, man, he be tripping. So basically, you know, the whole trying to give repentance to Israel on this side right now is, is, is not going to get it, man. All right, that's why the scriptures speak of uh, the election, okay? Those that are picked out by God to obtain salvation. And as you can clearly see in this video, I'm not even going to click it. If you want to go to their page and watch it, by all means, do it. All right. You're probably going to throw up, okay? Because you're going to, I'm, I'm going to just give you a visual. These these brothers out here preaching, all right? And, um, you know, you got sodomites out here twerking and, and doing the most and you know, basically these sodomites say during during this whole video, we ain't trying to hear that shit. Alright? If a nigga can't get it, alright, we moving on. Most definitely a, a sodomite, man. Alright? And I you sodomites, man, judgment is coming for you, man. Okay? There's nothing proud about taking um a, a rod up your anal rectum. Okay? Especially you Jakes out here, man. Because you take it to a far extreme. You know, you got Anderson Cooper who's a sodomite, who's an Edomite, and you can't even tell. But these Jakes, as you can see on this screen right here, all right, just doing the most, man. All right, that's why two-thirds got to go, man. All right, are you, um, are you lesbians? Are you sodomites? Are you transgenders of our nation? Hey, you got to be cut off, man, all right, because you're holding up progress. But basically, this lesson is basically on if you can't, if a nigga can't get it, we're moving on, man. Okay, it's this is this word is for the elect. And you know, um these other camps get on uh great millstone starting one of our apostles and elders, but these other camps aren't coming in the right spirit. You know what I'm saying? They go to these events. Basically it's it seems like clout chasing. You go to these events where um a, a large majority of people are on a certain particular day, like like a like a Puerto Rican Day parade. Or some type of event where thousands of people are going to be out there. And then you want to go out there and preach the word. When you're supposed to be instant in, uh, instant in season, out of season. I'm not saying these guys are, are, aren't. Okay, because when you look at their page, they're consistent. All right. But, you know, going out there during uh, high traffic where, where there's a lot of uh, activities going on. You're going to cause a ruckus, man. All right, especially with these sodomites. These sodomites are bold as hell, just like these women, man. So without further ado, um, I'm going to get into some scriptures, man. All right. So um, let me go to um, Revelation chapter 22. All right, verse 11. Let's see if I'm still here. All right, I'm still good. Revelation 22 and 11 says, uh, He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And as you can see from the uh, uh, the screenshot of this video, these sodomites are filthy and unjust. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. So, all Israel can be saved mentality is not going to get it, man. All right? Because there's a lot of jakes out there that are unjust and filthy, man. Especially these sodomites. Okay? Um, Titus chapter 1 verse 15 reiterates what Revelation 22 is saying. It says, Unto the pure all things are pure, but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure. And sodomites are defiled. Let's look at that word defiled, man. All right, it's clearly scriptures. As the, as these brothers brought out in the lesson, okay, Leviticus 20 and 13. But they ain't going to get it, man.
Strong's G3392. Miano. 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 To die with another color to stain. To defile, pollute, sully, contaminate soil. To defile with sins. And homosexuality, being a sodomite, is being defiled with many sins, man. Okay? On all levels. So it says, unto the pure, all things are pure. But unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure. But even their mind and conscience is defiled. That that death style is a conscience that's defiled, man. All right? Thinking you're proud because you're sleeping with another man. All right? Even an animal knows not to sleep uh, with another male. Like a male pit bull is not going to sleep with a male pit bull. All right? But this is what you get. When you uh want to go hand in hand with the so-called white man, all right, but at the same time, all right, only elect is gonna get it, man. All right, let's go to Romans eleven. Uh, Romans eleven and seven. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeking for. Israel, whatever type of uh, movement that they're in outside of the truth, they're trying to seek some type of salvation. All right. But the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. So these sodomites, they're blinded, man. Now, 1 Corinthians, um, the 6th chapter, verse 9 and 10, speaks about those who are living a lifestyle of, of sodomy. They can receive repentance, but in this day and age, speaking as a man, and what, what I see living in this God-forsaken city of Atlanta, majority of sodomites just ain't going to get it, man. Okay, they're already living that death style. They're all the way gone, man. A lot of these sodomites... Then got molested as children, all right, because you're not born like that, okay? All right, you might have got molested as a child, all right? Or you might just got lured into that lifestyle by another sodomite, man, because these sodomites, man, hey, these sodomites are bold as hell, all right? And, and I'm, I'm speaking from experience living in this godforsaken city. These sodomites will try to uh, so-called holler at you, which is filthy and disgusting, but they're, they're bold like that, man, all right? So why would you even go out there? And try to preach to a, a gang of sodomites who ain't gonna get it. They're already living that lifestyle and they're already gone. All right. Uh, Jeremiah five and twenty three. All right. It says, um, but this people have a revolting and a rebellious heart. They are revolted and gone. And sodomites are revolted and gone, man. Like I said, hey, repentance is open, man. Okay, you can repent from that, but it's highly unlikely, okay? Like, you had this guy named Antoine Dobson who tried to say he was a Hebrew Israelite. Where is this guy at? Okay, that was that was like what? Man, that was like five, six years ago. Where Where is this guy, man? He, he, I taught, Antoine Dobson is probably back in the uh, that death style. And then you had, you had that guy, you know, he, he went to the church. You know, it, it was funny. But you had the so-called gay guy that says, um, uh, I'm not gay no more. I like women's. You can tell this guy went back to being a sodomite, man. Okay? I mean, common sense would tell you that a lot of these guys who say they're, they're former sodomites, they go back into that death style, man. But the scripture nonetheless says, but this people have a, a revolting and a rebellious heart. They are revolted and gone. And that way, that death style... All right, you are, you are revolted and gone, man. All right? So let's go back to Romans 11 and 7. All right, where it says, um, What then Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Let's look at that word election, okay? Because these other camps, man, this is not um, some type of diss video where I'm just going to be spitting all over the camera and, and cussing. But this is the importance why you have the apostles and elders who are the true leaders of Israel. And all you other um, camp leaders of these other camps, you need to follow suit, man. Because the apostles and elders are teaching the truth, man. This is why we have spiritual discernment to look at these videos and say, hey, why are you going out there in the midst of a bunch of sodomites to go teach the word and they're not going to get it? All right, the scriptures plainly tell you the rest are blinded. All right, it says the election. Strong's G, 1589, Eklage. 
Eklage. Eklage, the act of picking out, choosing. So the Most High is choosing, okay? Of the act of God's free will, by which before the foundation of the world, he decreed his blessings to certain persons. Certain persons. All right, more than likely a sodomite is not part of the elect. <laughs> the sodomite sure as hell ain't part of the elect, excuse me. And it's, it's highly unlikely for a sodomite to repent, okay? Not saying he can, because in 1 Corinthians 6, 9, and 10, all right, it mentions some did. Paul mentioned that some did repent from that because they were leaving that Greek uh, uh, way of living, okay? And what you got now, man, you got these fraternities and sororities, especially in this God-forsaken city of Atlanta, all right, who promote homosexuality and lesbianism, these, these uh these kappas, these betas, the psi, whatever the hell it was out here, man. These for these uh, fraternities and sororities promote lesbianism and uh, homosexuality, man. All right, but continuing on, it says the decree made from choice by which he determined to bless certain persons through Hamashiach by grace alone. A thing or person chosen. Of persons, God's elect. So the most high chooses you. It ain't the other way around. So for you to go just go out there and um try to get a bunch of sodomites to repent, it ain't gonna work, man. Especially a group of them. It, it seemed like in this video, man, it was like twenty of them, twenty of them, man. Man, you ain't gonna get them to repent, man. Alright. So um I'm gonna go into um the apocrypha. All right, look, look at this, man. You can even see, look. Salaki. But basically, uh, look at that, man. It's, like, it's, about, it's, a, it's a group of them, man. All right? Bold, man. Bold as hell. All right, so it says, uh, I'm going to go to Wisdom of Solomon 1. It says, love righteousness, ye that be judges of the earth and the judges of the earth are the election man those who are picked out from salvation and we can judge you man okay we can't judge you sodomites all right we can't condemn you man love righteousness ye that be judges of the earth think of the lord with a good heart all right sodomites and lesbians aren't thinking of the lord with a good heart they're just thinking about being a bigger freaks and in simplicity of heart, seek him. For he will be found of them that tempt him not. And sodomites tempt the Most High with, with, with their acts, man. They tempt the Most High every day with their acts. And show of himself unto such as do not just distrust him. For forward thoughts separate from the Most High and his power. Let's look at that word, forward. Alright, the definition of forward is uh, of a person difficult to deal with. Contrary, these sodomites are forward, man. They're difficult to deal with. How the hell are you going to try to uh, enter, put the uh, wisdom of the Most High into these uh, forward sodomites, man? They ain't going to get it. Look, look at this look at this sodomite with the tank, white tank top on. He look like he the ringleader of the whole group. They're forward, man. They're, not, they're difficult to deal with, man. You should have just packed up your bags and went to another spot and talked the word, man, to edify. Because it's about edification, man. Which is building up. You're not going to build up a bunch of sodomites, man. It says, uh, for forward thoughts separate from the Most High and His power. When it is tried, reproveth, reproveth the unwise. For unto a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. And that's these guys right here. Wisdom is not entering into a malicious soul. All right, so automatically from reading the scriptures, Jake should know, hey, man, they ain't going to get it, man. I'm not going to sit here for 28, 30 minutes or however long they was out there trying to teach a bunch of sodomites because wisdom is not going to enter into a malicious soul. Wisdom is going to enter into uh, the election, those who are picked out from the foundation of the earth to receive salvation, man. And Lord willing, that be us. All right. So, uh, you know, you just give these, these you just give them their judgment, man, all right? 
and, and send them on their way, man. That make a sing and dance out of it, and and try to uh, uh uh reason with Jake, and try to get him to understand where he's going off at. Of course, you do, you do that. You give him the scriptures. But hey, man, if a nigga can't get it, we moving on. Especially a bunch of a pack full of sodomites, man. But the fearful and unbelieving sodomites, lesbians, transgenders, and abominable. That's what sodomites, lesbians, and transgenders are. All right. Strong's G nine forty eight. Deluso. Deluso. Deluso to render foul, to cause to be abhorred, abominable, to turn oneself away from on account of the stench. All right, and that lifestyle is disgusting, man. To you want to just hold your nose up because it's disgusting, man. Metaphor to abhor, to detest, and that death style is detestable, man. All right, but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers. All right, whoremongers. Let's look at that. Pornos. Uh, a man who prostitutes his body to another's lust for hire. A male prostitute. A man who indulges in unlawful sexual intercourse. A fornicator. Okay? So these guys are mentioning these sodomites, whether you live in Atlanta or Fort Lauderdale, Miami area, or you live in Seattle, or you live in New York or Los Angeles, where a lot of these sodomites live. They're pretty much everywhere in all 50 states, but these these large majority places like Atlanta, all right, this scripture fits these sodomites, man. All right, a male who indulges in unlawful sexual intercourse, sleeping with another man. All right, that's that's abominable. I mean, excuse me, whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. So that's their judgment, man. You know, bring their judgment and just, just keep it pushing, man. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, pretty much, even in uh, the camp that I'm in, the Great Millstone Atlanta Bar Camp, we see sodomites day in and day out of our camp. We're not trying to draw the attention and try to, hey, hey, come, come over here and hear the word of the Lord. No. All right? Because we have these scriptures in our mind, like Romans 11 and 7. Okay? Revelation 21 and 8. All right? We got that signs America is going to be destroyed by fire. And if you sodomites don't repent, if you lesbians don't repent, you're going to get burned up like Sarah Connor in Terminator 2. Before that, you might be in a concentration camp. You might get mauled by a pit bull during Jacob's trouble. You might get stomped down by the Gerger troops. All right, your judgment is coming for you people who live that death style. Okay? And when I say you people, I'm talking about you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who are caught up in that uh, lesbian, that LGBTQ, XYTZB123. Six, seven, eight lifestyle, whatever y'all want to call it nowadays. All right. So, um, you know, that, that's basically it, man. That's all I had, really. You know, um, matter of fact, I got one more. All right. Um, first Corinthians 14 and 26. And like I said, all, all these other counts, man, they just need to. Well, actually, they do watch Great Millstone. They just they just too proud to admit it. They watch our apostles and elders. They just too they just too proud to admit it. You know, First Corinthians fourteen and twenty six. How is it, brethren, when you come together, every one of you have a psalm, have a doctrine, have a tongue, have a revelation, have an interpretation. Let all things be done unto edifying. All right. These all uh, these old uh, proud sodomites. Are not gonna get edified, man. They're gonna continue to live their lifestyle until they get burnt up, or whatever the judgment the Lord has for them, man. So, um, hey, man, you you want to avoid uh being confrontational as well in this troop, trying to go to these festivals. That's what these other camps do. They they go to these festivals, and Super Bowl Sunday, or they go to a Christian conference right outside and try to give Jake the truth, man. Hey, man. That's just that's just unwise, man. You're gonna get into all types of confrontations. All right. You might end up in jail. 
All right, you, you got to keep it spiritual, man. You got to use wisdom, man. All right, so with that, um, I want to say shalom.